Hi, my name is Kelsey Vogt, and I am a student at UT Health Science Center San Antonio Dental Hygiene Class of 2017. For our Intro to Research course, we were required to conduct a short descriptive survey between friends and family. The purpose of this assignment was to learn how to manage data conducted by a survey. I was able to create a survey using SurveyMonkey.com for my friends and family to take. Here are my results. When my 15 participants were asked how old they were, two of them were between the ages of 18 and 20, the majority of them were between the ages of 21 and 29, two of them were between the ages of 40 and 49, and there were also two participants that were 60 years or older. The majority of my participants were females, while two participants were males. When asked about race, 14 of my 15 participants were white, while one was Asian. When my participants were asked if it was the duty of a doctor to keep a patient alive as long as possible when a person is at the end of death, my participants had varying answers. One person strongly agreed, four people disagreed, six people were undecided, three people agreed, and one person strongly agreed. My participants were then asked a series of questions regarding the last dining experience at a restaurant that they had. When asked if the facility was clean, the majority agreed that the facility was clean. When asked if the food was delicious, the majority agreed. When asked if the food was awful, the majority of them strongly disagreed. When asked if the service staff was polite and prompt, the majority, majority of them strongly agreed. When asked if they would recommend this restaurant to their family and friends, the majority of them strongly agreed. My 15 participants were asked what type of pets they have. They could answer multiple times, so that's why there are 20 answers instead of 15, meaning multiple people had both a dog and a cat, or had a dog and a horse, or had a cat and a horse. The majority of my participants had a dog, while seven people had a cat, and two had a horse. My 15 participants were then asked if they were a digital immigrant, meaning they were a person that became familiar with computers, the internet, and other digital technology as a young adult or later in life. This was interesting because it was almost split 50-50. Seven of my participants agreed that yes, they were a digital immigrant, while eight people agreed that they were not a digital immigrant. 